Okay, so I've been um, working on sitting, like unsupported, like I got a computer chair here. Um, I took the headrest off, so there's nothing behind my head. Uh, just to sit upright with no head support and uh, with my arms like hanging free. So just hanging. And uh, I took the armrest off as well. Just to be upright more because I'm always lying down or reclining. But I'm in so much pain like uh, all through my like my clavicle here. Like all along here uh, where the scalenes attach here. And over here, uh, the traps, my shoulders, my elbows, um, my chest, like along here, uh, underneath my pectoral muscles here, like they're all hurt. I can feel like the soft tissue just like pulling. Uh, and it's just, um, I mean, it's good. Like I'm happy to be like upright, you know, trying to work on that. Cause and eventually I'll get tired, but like I just keep trying to do more and more time like as an exercise to be upright and my body is so tight because it's like not it never has to like be down except when I get up to walk around so it's not just like loose just hanging uh and it really hurts it's bad like it really really hurts like so I mean it's not to the point where like where I'm like, because there's soft tissue stuff where you're like, oh man, this hurts. I got to stop doing it because I'm going to injure myself. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like stuff that's just super stiff. And there's so many spots of it that are super stiff that it burns all over the place. So it's like, I just got to endure it. And I mean, my, my bicep tendons as well, like where they attach up in here that, you know, allow your arm to go like that um, or like this. Uh, I forget exactly what, but, but yeah, they hurt too. God. Oh, the back of my neck's like pulling downward. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard. And I'm just making this just to say like, if you've been in bed for a long time, I, I guess. I don't know. I never hear anybody else talk about this, but it's like, you know, I, I mean, I spent a year in bed and I spent another year, like half the time I'm in bed or in a, in a recliner. Uh, maybe like three quarters of the day and I'm trying to do like more and more time and so I guess you know maybe I'm doing a two or three hours a day sitting unsupported now um, and it really hurts like especially like if I'm not holding on to anything or supporting my arms like they're just like pulling all this down and man it's bad but it's like, if I don't do it, it's like, I just, I'm never going to get looser. I'm never, the pain's never going to stop. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know of a way to do it that doesn't hurt. I guess I could partially support my arms a little bit, but that's an imprecise kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Maybe like a pulley system where it's like part of my arm weight is supported. Uh, just thinking about how to do that, that was complicated. I, I don't know. I think I just got to deal with it and just try to do more time each day, unsupported. I try to have good posture too. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like leaning forward like that. I'm like, you know, set up right, good posture. My arm's hanging. Anyway, yeah. Uh, also, the stuff from, like, going like that or, like, leaning forward, like, when I would have heart palpitations has been, uh, less, uh, probably, like, half as much. I've been doing the exercises where I have the, the iron neck, like, pointing this, like, with the tether, point, not the tether, the, the pulley, and it's pulling my head this way, and I'm resisting it. And then pulling back and resisting it and with like five pounds of weight. And that seems to have helped strengthen the uh, the uh, vertical running uh, ligament, the uh, anterior longitudinal ligament that keeps the spine from moving that way. It's, it's whole, um, you know, because of the exercise like resisting, 
it's like strengthening that that ligament and also the muscles and tendons so that's what i think is happening it's hard to tell because there's like so much going on but i did have pain in my anterior longitudinal ligament and i did when i was leaning forward and bending my head like that the pain would get worse and also the heart palpitations would get worse so then i started doing that thing where it's like pulling my head forward and i'm resisting it and then pulling it back uh, and then uh and then after a couple of weeks and i noticed like significant differences like the next day so that's why i think it's that that's the only neck exercise i was doing i think i was well i think i was doing like these as well uh, and some isometrics, but but that was the only one that's like really head forward. Like I wasn't doing flexion extension. I did that on a different day, but and the day directly, the days directly after, doing the chin out forward and out, out back. Significant difference in my uh, in the heart palpitations, uh, which is I believe brainstem compression. Uh, yeah. I also uh, put a uh, shit. I put uh, pull foam. Uh, Fifteen pounds. Uh, see, I put a. I cut a pull. Uh, one of those pull foam things. So like. Put it on my head like this. For the neck weight. Uh, I also, I realized that my neck's kind of long. And I was like, where where it is now, it's like kind of pulling the middle of my neck. So like I'm getting more of like a curve in the middle of my neck from this, from the neck weight. Uh, but so I put a, a Over here. Mm. Okay. So I have used a, a scarf like this, and I put it like underneath the neck weight, Oops. so that it's like higher up on my neck, just about like an inch. So that it was pushing more against like my C2 and C3 area. Because that's the part that's really straight. Like C1, C2, C3, going into C4 is just like perfectly straight. So I'm like, I don't need it to bend more at C4. I need it to bend like around like C2, C3. So, because my neck's longer than normal a little bit. So now it, it felt good like the, the stretch and the... um. Uh, I can feel like more of a stretch in my upper cervical area as opposed to when I take this out and now it's lower and now I just feel like it doesn't feel upper, it just feels like I don't know C4, C5 is not getting more of a curve so I think hopefully that will help me make a bigger difference like in correcting my curve because I've been doing it like this for the last year and it's like, I'm like, wait a minute, like, I'm not, like, I'm not correcting my curve in my upper cervical. Like, C1 through C4 is just, like, straight. Whereas, like, I am getting, I have a decent curve, like, below that, I guess. But I don't need, I don't need that there. Anyway, I've been doing, like, a half hour of this every, like, uh, it's 15 pounds. Uh, so, it took a while for me to build up to that, and, uh... You could do this at home. You don't. You don't need this thing. You could just tie a dumbbell to it, to a strap, and then run a strap through a pull noodle. And there you go. There's your curve correction neck weight. Save yourself $150. Um, and uh, so yeah. Um, so I gotta take this off. Jesus Christ, I'm tight. So that's, uh, it's been going okay. But other than that, yeah, that's what, that's just, uh, 
that's what I've been doing. Um, and I just, I more wanted to say like, I guess all that stuff's important to know if you're having neck issues and, and, but the, but I've just never heard anyone to talk about how painful it is to be upright like this after you've been laying down a lot. Cause it's like, I'm just so tight and I went to physical therapy and they're just like, they don't know what to tell me. You know, I'm just, I wish, I wish to hell, like some doctor, some medical person would offer me some help, but I got to do it all on my own because they don't, like the medical industry just seems to be predicated on just treat people a little bit, uh, don't solve any problems because if you solve problems, then your money goes away. So you just keep making people come in and help them as little as possible while keeping them coming in. And that's how people get trained. That's how doctors get trained. Uh, that's how, you know, physical therapists get trained. Like physical therapists don't want you solving problems. Um, yeah. I mean, and people might say like, oh, you know, I don't think it's true. I'm like, well, think about it this way. What if your physical therapist got a bonus, like a big bonus, if they solve your problem in four weeks, you know? Do you think they'd solve more problems in short times? <laughs> they probably would, because they'd go figure out from like other physical therapists, how are you solving this problem faster? You know, but anyway, so that's what's going on with me. Uh,